awesome writer, Dorian Stegen, uh, and we're going to get some information on a new book that he's got coming out. Would you tell us more about it? Uh, Lynn Margulis, The Life and Legacy of a Scientific Rebel. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, it's available for pre-order now. It's got essays by James E. Lovelock, co uh, the, the main inventor of the Gaia Hypothesis. His, uh, his neighbor, William Golding, who wrote Lord of the Flies, gave him a better name for global homeostasis based regulatory system or whatever it was he was coming a big four letter word he wrote about my mom my mom was a collaborator she showed how the microbes are very important in the regulation and the met metabolic like physiology of the entire earth it's not an organism but it's very um, similar in some ways to a, um, um, a single organic entity that has a physiology um, there's essays by her students by people who work with her on the and the symbiotic theory of cells coming together in order to make, or not in order to make, but making um, animal cells from bacteria and archaea, the extremophiles, the thermophiles, these organisms that some people say might have come from outer space because they're so able to resist acids and high temperatures, and they served as the host, and they were invaded by other probably um, um, destructive bacteria, but they didn't die. And the two form partnerships, which were very useful after um, after oxygen started to appear about two billion years ago. Are there any specific challenges that you have? Because I know you were saying that in the book, it's a collaboration of multiple essays. Yeah. Is there any specific challenges in publishing a book like that? Yeah, well, the, the technical name for um, a book of of essays about an academic after they die or retire is a fest script. And fest scripts tend to be kind of, they kind of can be somewhat, um, um, I won't say milky, but somewhat weak in a sense because they just include everything that everybody says about somebody. But we had to pare down and that was difficult because some, you know, people really love my mother and, but we also had cumulative redundancy. So we wanted it to be an excellent book and some of the, some really good stuff didn't get in because it was either um, it, it was either too redundant in, in terms of other stuff or it was a little bit um, it, well I mean I wasn't the one who made all the editorial decisions I, I grouped together people but the, the bottom line is that we had some we had gr a, a lot of really great essays and we took only the best of the really great essays and so it's an elegant little book and there's tons of science and there's personality, politics, et cetera, in there. So I, I highly recommend it. I'm proud of it. A lot of stuff that I wrote didn't get in there, but the best thing that I wrote did, which was my introductory essay called Indomitable Lynn about my mom and um, her personality and uh, how we scattered her ashes at the pond where she used to swim every day in the summer and where she discovered this freshwater um, coral-like organism called Pecnonatella magnifica that they're now doing an international investigation to see if it's um, symbiotic and if they can prove that they may be able to name this particular species after her. Oh that would be awesome. Yeah. Now just another thing I just wanted to take the time to thank you for giving me your book Death and Sex You're and um, three quarters of the way through your sex essay. Um, are we going to be expecting anything else like this from this book in the new book? Um, like this book in which in the Lynn Margulis book? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you sex evolution, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of so there's, great, there's great. definitely sex and evolution in there. More evolution than sex, but yeah, I'm always that book is sort of based on the science fiction model of those those ace paperbacks where they had one story and you flip it over and you read the other one, but it's nonfiction. And I guess um, an editor said, you know, if somebody submitted the Bible as a um, book to a publishing house now they would reject it because it was too long we said now if you cut this down to like 40,000 words and give it a catchier title like instead of the Old Testament how about Master of Chaos and then instead of um, you know the New Testament how about the thing with three souls <laughs> you know and then <laughs> then you'd have something sellable I'd like to see that maybe Robert Crumb could work on that that's awesome. Well, listen, we're so happy to have you on board as a contributor to our website, alienation.com. And uh, be sure to pre-order his book on Amazon. It comes out next month. Thank you, Jeremy. You're welcome.